بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم انجینئر شمس الرحمان اینڈ آور ٹوڈے آور ٹوڈے ٹاپک از اباؤٹ ڈفرینس بٹوین اسٹیٹک اینڈ کائنامیٹک اینڈ ڈٹرمیننسی دس از آور فسٹ ویڈیو ان انٹرویو سیریز سو an interviewer can ask you about what is the difference between static and kinematic indeterminacy why we find them okay and what what is the benefit of of that so let's start why we find determinacy okay if we have a structure then first of all before an analysis we find that the, we we want to find that this structure is determinate or indeterminate if the structure is determinate then we can find the uh, uh, we can uh, find the moments directly by equilibrium equations also we can find the reactions directly by equilibrium equation but if the structure is indeterminate then we cannot find by the equilibrium equations okay so what is the determinate structure if the reaction forces can be calculated using equilibrium equation only they are called statically determinate structure on the other hand if the reaction forces cannot be determined using equilibrium equations only the uh, other method have to be used the structure is said to be statically indeterminate okay okay now what is the difference between statically indeterminate and uh, kinematically indeterminate so the basic difference between both is in static indeterminacy we find a reactions at support okay and in kinematic indeterminacy we find displacement or degree of freedom at support uh, here see this fixed support at fixed support reactions are three okay one is horizontal the other is uh, vertical and the other one is moment and uh, you if you see there is zero displacement zero degree of freedom at fixed support actually the uh, uh, reactions and displacements are opposite to each other you can see in the uh, hinge support reactions are two but degree of freedom is one and uh, uh, in roller support reactions are one but degree of freedom are two the one is horizontal and the other is moment okay how to find static and determinacy now we want to find static and determinacy in 2d structure the number of equilibrium equations are three that is summation of fx is equal to 0 fx uh, summation of fy is equal to 0 the summation of moment is equal to 0 but if it was 3 three, uh, 3d structure or space structure then uh, the number of equilibrium equ- equations would be 6 okay now what is the formula okay the formula is r minus 3 uh, r are unknown forces uh, uh, unknown forces in the member are support are support reactions okay and um, equally uh, equation of static uh, equilibrium available in the beam or uh, truss or any other structure so let's find so here see, you can see this is simply supported beam and uh, this is the hinge support and the other is roller support at hinge support there are two uh, reactions and at roller support there are one reaction so ds is equal to r minus 3 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 and uh, it means that static indeterminacy for this is 0 so this beam is statically determinate okay so we can find this reaction this reaction and this reaction and then we can analyze directly okay the other one is uh, cantilever beam uh, this is also statically determinate you can see ds is equal to 0 so this you can also um, uh, here you can find uh, reactions and moment directly okay and the other one the other one is statically uh, indeterminate by 1 degree okay so you can see there are uh, t- uh, two reactions at uh, Uh, hinge support one is mm, a roller support and the other one also a roller support this is one so 4 minus 3 is equal to 1 so 
and this and this beam we cannot analyze by equilibrium equation okay for this uh, as this is end terminal structure for this uh, uh, we have to um, this we have to uh, design by force method or uh, deflection method uh, this we will uh, uh, define later okay so now how to find kinematic indeterminacy to find the degree of freedom as support that is displacement okay denoted by dk here you can see the simply supported again and uh, you can see at, uh, at uh, hinge support there are one um, there are one um, moment only uh, this is uh, uh, and uh, the other at the other one uh, th that is roller there are two uh, displacements okay one is translation and the other, the other is rotation so degree of freedom here is equal to 3 at Mm, cantilever beam also you can see at fixed support uh, there are uh, three uh, three displacement sorry uh, there are three dis displacement but at fixed there is zero displacement so degree of freedom is equal to three and now this is fixed beam okay there is no displacement no deflection so dk is equal to zero analysis of indeterminate structure okay now we uh, uh, we know the difference between determinate structure and indeterminate structure determinate structure we can find directly by equilibrium equation uh, the forces and the moment we can uh, uh, directly uh, uh, directly uh, solve by um, equilibrium equation okay but in indeterminate uh, indeterminate uh, structures we cannot find find directly for this we have two method one is force method it is also called flexibility met method and the other one is f uh, displacement method it is also called stiffness method okay so now interviewer can also ask one another question from you okay that is what is the difference uh, uh, like uh, when we will uh, when we, we will use force method and when we will use displacement method this is very important uh, for a technical uh, point of view uh, in technical point of view uh, so the force method you will use okay when the degree of static indeterminacy is less than degree of kinematic indeterminacy okay for the beam for one beam or for any structure you will find both you will find both statically indeterminacy and kinematic indeterminacy but if the static indeterminacy is less than degree of kinematic indeterminacy okay then you will fo use force method but if the degree of kinematic indeterminacy is less than static indeterminacy then you will use displacement method so it was all about static indeterminacy i hope uh, if interviewer asks any question regarding static indeterminacy uh, determinate structure and determinate structure kinematic indeterminacy force method or uh, are the displacement method uh, i hope you will know the answer thank you bye bye